Well, Central Texas Humane Society needs your help. It's overcrowded with almost 200 dogs. Meredith Haas went to the Waco facility to understand why there are so many more, so many more dogs than normal and what you can do to help out. It's kind of like a animal community just kind of wondering what's going on. Like why this dog sitting in shelters for so much longer than they used to. Mike Gray with the Humane Society of Central Texas says that right now there is a record number of almost 200 dogs at the Waco facility. And while he doesn't know exactly why it's happening now, he has a few guesses. That's why it's so important to always spay neuter your, your, your animals because if not, they're going to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce and that's kind of, I think, how we got where we are right now. Overcrowding also happens when people bring in strays, like the one this Waco family found wandering around their neighborhood. We wanted to get it checked, so we took it to the fire station first, and they had a microchip, and then we brought it to the pound to see if we could find its owner. Bring dogs here if we see them, just so that way they can find new homes where we can try and find the owners. The shelter has been holding free adoptions for the last month, hoping to free up some space. And you can still adopt a pet for free at the Humane Society now. Now the Humane Society also told us that inflation could impact many people's ability to house their pets these days. So if you or someone you know just can't afford to take care of a dog, remember that the Central Texas Humane Society can assist you so that you don't have to give up your furry buddy. And I know we told you about Jordo last week, that um, really sweet lab mix puppy. Good to report that he was also adopted.